Hello everybody, I'm Isma. In our previous video, we said we shall have a continuation of our break and retest strategy that we discussed earlier on. We said that uh, as markets do move, they normally move uh, in either trending markets or in either uh, trend and up and upward market movement or in the trending markets or in a sideways market movement that is uh, the ranging markets. Now, we said as markets are trending, okay, they can reach that specific point whereby we expect or we see the markets touching a certain point or a zone or a price that apparently tend to be, uh, appear to be as a resistance, just as we illustrated in that particular video. As time went on, the markets broke, okay, what we were at, and we were in position to identify the breaking point or the breakout point, then went up and then we tested back, then we did a retracement in our illustration. Now, that video was specifically looking at uh, the trending markets when they break, and for today's video, we're specifically going to look at the ranging market, just as we have said previously, that when the markets are moving, they either trending and or uh, ranging or in a sideways market movement. Uh, and when it comes to ranging, they can be ranging upwards or they can be ranging downwards. Now, when it comes to uh, the ranging markets, uh, it's totally different uh, when it comes to the breakout and uh, break and retest strategy. It, it, it normally breaks out uh, differently when it comes to the trending and the ranging markets. Now, what we looked at in the previous video was specifically for those markets that we are, we are trending and we saw how they break, okay, for the existence uh, of our breaking, uh, of our strategy and uh, we realized that they normally uh, break or first test this, that point for it to become a resistance, then uh, break and retest and then pull back. Now, in today's video, we're going to specifically look at uh, the ranging markets. What happens or what are some of the things that we're supposed to see when the market is in a range and we are experiencing a break for us to apply our break and retest strategy. Now, just to remind you, a break and uh, a break and retest strategy simply works out when the market breaks the support or the resistance, then turns back from the opposite or turns back to the opposite direction, and which we call the retest process, and then pulls back for purposely, uh, normally to gain the momentum in the market. Now, uh, when it comes to the ranging markets, uh, it's a bit quite different. Okay, though not quite a lot. Uh, just as we're going to see. Uh, we're going to have a full illustration of the occurrence in the video and then we shall also have a look at an example or a suitable example uh, from our previous or in our history of the currency pair that we shall be uh, basically looking at which is uh, JPY, uh, sorry, Swiss franc JPY or NZD JPY. We shall look at any of these pairs and see how this is the how our strategy or how our strategy can be implemented and be worked upon. Now, uh, when it comes uh, to the ranging markets, when the ranging markets, for those that don't know what ranging markets are, the ranging markets are basically those markets that normally move within ranges. For instance, A and B. Now, if we have a point, of, a point A and point B, when markets are moving or when candlesticks or whatever type of charts that you may be having, when they are moving within that particular range, a range of between A and B, then we tend to say the market is within the range. Now, how do we replicate our strategy onto this uh, ranging markets? Now, when the market keep on ranging within the, uh, the very parameters that is A and B, it reaches a certain point whereby it has now to go into the, re the trending market because uh, it's probably within a zone uh, or probably uh, the markets are not active, maybe we're, uh, we're in the break, maybe we're in the recession, and uh, there are quite a couple of uh, reasons as to why they may be in a range. But then to say uh, we shall have a specific video to look in details uh, what causes ranges within the market and forth. Now, when it's within the ranges or when it's within the, those parameters of A and B, it has to reach a point whereby it has to break and then definitely goes into a trend. Into a trend. Now, when it's to break or when it breaks uh, 
it can be any of these two points. It can be A, it can be, it can be B. A can be is the resistance and B is uh, the support. Now, if it breaks the support above, uh, the resistance above, it definitely means that at that point of the resistance where it breaks, it becomes, um, it becomes the breakout point. And then when it goes up, uh, it has to always come back and gain the momentum. That's by retesting uh, from where we get our name break out and or break and retest strategy. Then it has to, after the retest, it will now be in position having gained enough momentum, energy to pull and definitely strike or go highly or, or go higher with quite a lot of momentum uh, in the spike. Now, that's if it breaks above. So you realize that it makes the previous resistance a support and by so uh, it actually goes up. So we're going to clearly see step by step ways with a clear with clear illustrations showing this in our or on our trading platform. <coughs> it can be an MT4, it can be an MT5, and it works with all various types of uh, in all. It, it's, it works in basically time frames that are quite relatively higher than the lower uh, time frames. Now let's get and switch to our MT4 platform and see how best we can. Uh, clearly illustrate and see how this strategy works. And now on our MT4 platform, that's how <coughs> basically the MT4 platform looks like. Now, as we said, we are looking at the ranging markets. Now, when you critically look at our at our chart, you definitely can tell that this market is within a range. Uh, for instance, uh, for clarity, we, uh, we, uh, this upper line is working as uh, the resistance and then this lower line is working as the support so by working in a range we said our point b our this is going to be our point a this is this is our point b just as we said now the market we see markets moving up down up down up sorry uh we see markets sorry for that with uh, yeah we see see markets moving up down up down and up now you realize that uh honestly this market is moving within a range now uh this is where we experience the breakout or the break of our resistance which we previously called the breakout and we realize that uh, it's at this point where it breaks um, the resistance hence making it the support because we said uh, it will move like this breaks from above retest and then strikes up again to, uh, of course for it uh, moving from uh, from for it reaching this point is basically for purposes of gaining momentum and making the previous resistance uh, a support now uh, now, when it comes to this, you realize that point B is broken. Now, the same can happen if, for instance, this time round we had a, a break, a break, uh, a breakout uh, uh, on the on the on the resistance. Then we can as well do have the breakout onto the support. And now, this is what we probably may expect when we're experiencing a break onto the support. Now, when there is a break on uh, breakout onto the uh, onto the support. Uh, definitely this point here will now be our breakout as as in it's b u b o that is breakout and at this point our previous point this point uh also becomes the b o which is the breakout point we can actually add b o p which is the breakout point that point for those that really missed out on the previous video uh, makes the BOP. Now, when it breaks normally, markets do have a tendency, just like the very way we, we see ourselves pulling the rubber band. The reason as to why we pull our rubber band is actually specifically for us to actually, the, the rubber band to gain momentum such that it can actually swing, uh, probably whatsoever is connected onto the rubber band, the same happens onto when it comes uh, on uh, happens onto the same the same way happens onto the markets now uh, as it comes to this point uh, then 
uh, normally it comes back to retest. Uh, that's, that's where we see the rubber band from gaining the momentum uh, for uh, basically the issues of elasticity. And then from that point, it can gain momentum. And then uh, finally, it can, um, it can spike up, spike down for this time round. Now, here it means that it has made, uh, because this, this was our resistance, R, it was our resistance. And then, sorry, 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 sorry. This was our, uh, uh, let me delete this. And um, this was our support, which is S. And then up here, it was our resistance previously before the breakout. You realize at this point, the resistance now becomes the support, the support after the breakout. And below here, the support now becomes the resistance after the breakout. Now. What is what's the main importance of this strategy? Here comes the important part of the strategy. Specifically, is after the retracement is the important point of this strategy. Now, let's see. After the after the market's breaking, we may actually forego this, but then wait for the markets to retest. Some point, sometime they will reach the resist uh, the resistance or the support. Sometimes they will not reach. So the best point for you to do is uh, basically to wait in for when to buy and when to sell. For instance, when it reaches this point, we can actually wait for it to retrace. And as it approximates uh, up to this point, we can suddenly come up here and put a buy stop. And then suddenly, uh, meaning that if it's actually not to come down, there is no way you're going to, uh, uh, if it suddenly comes down, there is no way you may miss out on this. Uh, for that reason as to why I do recommend pending orders. Now, if this becomes your entry, which is uh, which I've named E, yeah, let me, I've named E, this point, if it becomes your entry and it's a buy stop, it definitely means that the market has not been executed as of yet, but we've put a pending order waiting for this market to come wherever it is coming and then execute a buy and hence making profit out of this. Which, is, which isn't the same scenario as to some people what they say that when market reaches here, you're supposed to buy at this point. Please don't buy at market. Wait and buy unless if the market is at this point. But always, uh, always use pending orders for execution and then uh, not buying at market for purposes of uh, preparations and confirmations uh, and clear confirmations in place. Uh -huh. Now, that is if it's up. Then if it's bouncing down, like uh, breaking the support, then we see it reaching this point. So it's a matter of a fact for us to enter and having our entry at this point, which we already named as point E. Uh, now, this means that you will have to sell at this point, but with a sell stop. That is uh, S, S, uh, sell stop SS sell stop and here it will be a buy stop which is buy b buy stop s yes, at this point here so now we realize that uh we are having a buy stop up and we're having a sell stop down hence using our strategy the break and retest strategy now as part what we have looked in this video i believe we've all been in position to know how our system works and hope you've learned a lot. If you haven't and there is quite something that is really missing out, you can comment below this video. But also don't forget to subscribe for those that are new to this channel or that the ones that are new to this channel or have just watched this video for the first time and have not subscribed. Please, you can subscribe. And in the next video, we shall, we shall basically look at the three top price action trading tips the three are price action trading tips in just three minutes and we shall become professionals we shall become seniors in trading price actions with basically three trading tips that is the next video don't miss out on it please don't miss out on it and subscribe and you can share for those that uh, probably uh, recommend others thank you for watching this video i sign out i've been isma sewan kambo i love you all bye